Yo, what is up guys? Adam here. Now, welcome back to the third episode in my second season of my AC Milan career mode. Now, a bit of trouble trying to record this episode. I actually played one game versus Cagliari and I ended up winning 2-0. But the Elgato decided that I wanted to completely fuck up and not work at the end of the thing when it exported and all that. So, honestly, we picked up a 2 victory. A very good game from Simone Verdi. If I would have played, I probably would have won again. But a 2-0 victory. I'm sorry I couldn't show you because Elgato fucked up. But we played very good. Two goals from Ber Verdi, like I said. Honestly, a very, very good performance from him. And also, if you go look at my squad, you'll see that Suso is back from loan. I'm either going to use him as a right mid for this season, a right winger, or I'm going to try getting another right winger and trying to sell him on or, or trying to swap a deal with him and all that because we need some cash. And there's a lot of players that you guys in the comments want me to sign. So before all of that, we're going to try to request some funds from the board. I'm going to see if the board will accept 10 million if I can win the league title, reach the final, and win the cup. Now, honestly, I really need a right winger. And honestly, I'm looking at Alan Hayevic. He can play at right wing. This would be a very good transfer if I can get some money. If not, Anwar Algazi. And if not, there's Mohamed Salah. Some people have been trying to tell me in the comments down below. There's a lot of players they want me to get, like Belarabi. But they're going to be very, very expensive. I think a cheaper option and a younger option, especially since he gets to a very good overall, is Anwar Algazi. But I'm going to try a first offer for Alan Hayevic. Let's try a straight swap with Suso and see what FC Barcelona come back with. Obviously, I want to listen to you guys, but at some point, there's some stuff that I want to do myself. So I'm going to try a transfer offer for Anwar Elgazi. Let's go and submit Suso and see what they hit me back with. Also, a striker who can play right wing is Gabriel, a very, very good player. And he does have an exciting prospect status. So let's see if we can pick him up. We're going to try a six million pound offer for him. Okay, so the board have reviewed our request to give us 10 million and they have accepted it. So honestly, that is very good for the negotiations that we want to do. So Ajax have received a 12.5 million bid from Celta Vigo. Obviously, every time I try to put a bid for a player, some other team has to come back and ruin my life. Okay, so the transfer offer for Alan Hayevich has been rejected. They are not interested in Suso. Ajax said they have accepted an offer from another club. And Santos won 12 million for Gabriel. Now, Barcelona say that it's too valuable for them to sell Hayevich. So I'm going to give them 12 million plus Suso and see what they say. And obviously, if I want some cash left over and I'll still have Suso, I'll try for Gabriel because he is a striker and he can play right wing. He's going to be a very good striker in the future. So if we can pick him up, I'm going to take Gabriel because all the other options are going to be very very expensive and if somebody wants a contract raise during the season we won't have that much money to give him so let's put in a nine million pound offer for Gabriel so with nine hours left Santos say it's unacceptable Ajax have accepted another offer from another team and Algazi is no longer with this club obviously every time I try getting a player he goes to another team and FC Barcelona are not interested in the player we have put, which is Suso. So we're going to stop pursuing Hayevich. We're going to try for Gabriel. They say they want 13 million now, which makes no sense because they wanted 12 before. So let's try 10 million right now. Okay, so I'm going to try a one-year loan deal for Mohamed Salah because he is at Chelsea and there's far better right wingers than him with a future fee of 20 million. And let's see what Chelsea say. Chelsea are now looking to loan out Mohamed Salah, so we're going to stop pursuing him because the transfer offer for Gabriel has been accepted. I know some people want me to sign the players they want, but I don't have that much cash. I'm sorry. So I'm going to go with Gabriel because he is a much cheaper option than all the other players. We can look to pick up more of those players at the end of the season when we do have some money and hopefully finish at the top of the table. So I put in a 50k a week contract with a sporadic first team player for Gabriel. And a transfer offer from Vicencia for just Vergara, let's go ahead and accept it. He's only 70 rated at 22, so he's gonna have a good year in Serie B. Again, he has rejected 50k and a squad rotation player is what I'm going to give him now. Okay, so Gabriel has accepted his contract of 50k a year and a squad rotation player. So welcome to Milan, Gabriel. He is going to be a very good player, I'm telling you guys. And thank God we wrapped that up because he was also in talks with Stoke City for 9.5 million. So they were being pretty stingy with us. But welcome, Gabriel, to the club. For now, he is going to get the number 27. So we got a transfer offer for Luca Antonelli finally after like six years, but now we have to reject it because we are not going to have that many players. Antonelli is still a decent left back for this season. So here's our lineup for this match against Lazio, Lopez, Bellerin, Glick, Romagnoli, Ridwald, Witzel, Verratti, Kalanoglu, Niang, Baca, and El Sharawi. Some of our players have gone up, Romagnoli to 80, Glick to 85, Verratti, well 85. 
Uh, Niang 78, Baka 84, and El Sharawi 82. Our team is progressing very well. Let's jump into this game and pick up a victory. Okay, so we're here on a bright sunny day at the Stadio Olimpico against Lazio. Now, Lazio are a fairly decent side. I know we did beat them last game in the uh, in the season, if you guys were watching, uh, you know, to all the Milan fans out there. But let's pick up a very good game over here. Oh, very good save by Diego Lopez right there. Lazio have been just pressing. We need to stop this attack and get this out. Lazio have been playing very well offensively. Let's go, Mina. Get this out. No problem for Diego Lopez. No problem right there. Get this cross out. Get this cross out. Oh, my goodness. What a save by Diego Lopez. But I think he was just off. No, he wasn't offside over there. Holy crap. Diego Lopez has had to make five saves already. What the hell? Get this out, Glick. Come on, El Shadawi. Don't fuck around with it. Go. Go. Nice pass to Niang. Avoid the slide challenge. Go. Go, Niang. Go, Niang. Come on. Hold it up. Go, Al Sharawi. I mean, that's Bellerin. Sees Baka. Oh, my God. That's a beautiful ball from Bellerin. Oh, Baka couldn't get the shot off right there. All right. End of the first half. Lazio is dominating. We need to step up our game. We need to try and score a goal or honestly hold off a draw because Lazio are just are just honestly amazing in this game. Diego Lopez has had to make like six saves or something like that. Berati. Berati sees El Sharawi. That's a beautiful ball. Come on, El Sharawi. What is that touch? You messed up a perfectly good ball from Verati right there. Come on, Baka. Come on, Baka. Come on, you have to score. Cut inside. Yes. Lays it off. Who the hell is there for the pass? Now, obviously, Lazio has to play around with it because it's a draw. But whatever, we pick up a nil-nil draw against Lazio. Nothing really happened in this game besides Lazio just dominating and Diego Lopez saving almost everything. Thank you, Diego Lopez, for this game. But with that, we pick up one point in our third game. We're sitting at seven points currently. And look at that. Diego Lopez with a 9.7 rating. He made 10 saves. That's absolutely phenomenal. Thank God I didn't get rid of him. But we pick up the one point away from home. Not that bad but not that good so Gabriel has gone up from a 76 to a 77 with this training so here's our Europa League group we have us Trabzonspor, Standard Liege and Rosenberg shouldn't be a tough group but we you never know in this game so let's get into the first game of the Europa League against Standard Liege so we're going with this lineup Gabriel, Bellerin, Rugani, Romagnoli, Antonelli, Mauri, Bertolacci, Verdi, Gabriel our new signing Lukaku and Bonaventura let's get into this game this is the game that we won 2-0 where I couldn't show you against Cagliari. They played very well so let's see if we can take that form and bring it into this game for our first European game. So we're here at the San Siro after a long awaited two or three years of no Champions League or Europa League. Basically European football. The San Siro finally has back their European team. Let's go Milan. Let's pick up a first good game in this group stage against Standard Liège. There Gabriel getting his first touch of the ball. Gabriel to Lukaku, Lukaku first time shot, yes, Lukaku scores in the second minute off a pass from Gabriel, or I think it was Verdi or Gabriel, it might have been Gabriel, but Lukaku finishes it with ease, he just turns and fires, yes, it was a pass from Gabriel, off his left foot, that was a very, very nice shot from Lukaku, honestly, Lukaku 30 million, he's going to be a very good player this season, 1-0, let's go start the counterattack. Bertolacci, go Bonaventura, go Jack, Gives it to Bertolacci, back to Bonaventura, to Verdi, Verdi, left footed shot, Simone Verdi scores again, the number 21 for Milan who came back from loan, scores off a first time pass from Bonaventura, no, I think that was, no, that was Bonaventura, that was a nice play from Bertolacci, Bonaventura, Verdi into the back of the net, we're up 2-0 in this first game. Magnoli get there, oh, Santini scores off a header. Romagnoli could not judge the header and he scores and it's 2-1. Oh, it was a nice cross. I don't know what the hell Bellerin was doing there. He was trying to get a tackle, but it was a beautifully placed cross and into the back of the net. 2-1 after 13 minutes. Sends it an early cross to Lukaku. Lukaku tries to get there with the header and it's just pushed out of the net by Turam. It was a decent cross from Gabriel. Could have had a bit more power. Verdi, Bertolacci, Bertolacci, left footed shot. Oh, just wide. 2-1 at halftime. We started off very well, but then they scored off a header. 2-1 is a very dangerous lead. Let's pick up another goal and see if we can try and win this game. No, 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 no. Come on. What the hell did Rugani do right there? He just let him walk. Rugani, how the hell did you miss that ball? 
Come on, Gabriel couldn't do anything and Santini scores again. Who is this guy? I don't know what the hell my midfielders were doing right there, but Rugani just just misread it completely and it's 2-2. Nice Lukaku. Verdi to Mauri. Go Mauri. Come on Mauri, finish this. Oh, what a save by Turam. Come on Mauri, if he had a bit more finishing, you would have slotted that well. Let's go. Let's go Kalano. Oh my god, referee. We don't deserve to draw this game. So bullshit. Nevertheless, that's the end of this episode. If you guys have enjoyed it, I know we couldn't pick up a victory. I know we couldn't sign some of the players you wanted me to. But Gabriel is going to be a very good signing. If you guys have enjoyed this, you can leave a like. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time. Do it! Do what? Just do it! Okay, do what? Do it! Subscribe to our channel. Whoa, calm down there, Shia. Just do it! Also, follow us on Twitter at TheNobsYT. Just do it!